The Return of Jesus Part 4 Part 4 of 5 Description, After the False Messiah, the annulment of the false religions of the people of the book, the establishment of God's nation under Jesus, and the invasion of the Gog and Magog. The establishment of God's nation under Jesus. The killing of the false messiah will traumatize the Christians and Jews who had followed him, for it will finally reveal to them that he was not what he had claimed to be. In fact, the role of Jesus in his defeat will convince most of the surviving Christians, at least, that the false messiah had indeed been the Antichrist prophesied in their own scriptures. The prophet of Islam, may the mercy and blessings of God be upon him, said. The son of Mary will soon descend among you and will judge justly, according to the law of God, it is by this law, the Sharia that is based on the Quran and way of Muhammad. That Jesus will rule with equity and justice, he will break the cross and kill the pig. Sahih al-Bukhari. The breaking of the cross may be figurative or literal. The destruction of erected idols in churches and tearing down of crosses from their steeples, as well as forbidding the use of personal crosses as symbols of religion. Or the destruction of the myth that he was executed by the Romans on a cross at the instigation of the Jews. Likewise, the killing of the pigs may be both literal and figurative. Literally conducting a campaign to kill all pigs so the consumption of their meat becomes impossible, allowing them to be killed. Or simply reimposing the ban God made since time immemorial, as it is recorded in the Torah, as well as in the Quran, on eating their flesh. Effectively forcing pig farmers to get rid of their stock by culling. In effect, two of the mainstays of widespread Christian practice will be removed, indicating that the religion as taught by modern Christians would henceforth be defunct. And marking a return to the religion as originally intended, Islam. And there will be no jizya. Sahih al-Bukhari. Furthermore, after the massive losses of life among the Jews, the death of their leader will prove to the Jews that he had been yet another false hope. Possibly, the false messiah's claim of divinity may well have already sowed seeds of doubt in their hearts, anyway, so when Jesus announces that the jizya, jizya, the tributary poll tax taken from the people of the book who, under the protection of the Islamic nation of which they citizens, are free to practice their religion, will no longer be a means by which non-Muslims can avoid submitting to the will of God. They will be ready to give up following the guidance of their rabbis in favor to returning to the guidance, God uses the word al-Furqan to describe both what was revealed to Muhammad. May the mercy and blessings of God be upon him, that which was revealed to Moses and Aaron, as well as other prophets. Many of the original teachings, undistorted by rabbinical additions and interpretations, support and precede the law prescribed by the last prophet. Which is the final shape of the law of God, of God. The fact that no jizya will be accepted underlines the abolishment of all religion except one. The people of the book will be required to follow the law of Islam which Jesus will impose. The diehards that refuse will be hunted and killed rather than allowed to continue in their outmoded faith. The hour will not come until the Muslims fight against the Jews and kill them. The Jews will seek shelter behind stones and trees, but the stone or the tree will speak. O servant of God, there is a, diehard, Jew behind me, so come and kill him. But the Gargad tree will not speak out because it is partial to the Jews. Sahih Muslim no mention of the fate of those who are neither Muslims nor people of the book is mentioned at this stage, but we believe some of them will also fall under the sway of the rule of Jesus, or die. Perhaps others will be destroyed by those who are referred to as the Gog and Magog. The invasion of the Gog and Magog, Gog and Magog pronounced Yujuj wa Majuj in Arabic. Gog and Magog are, exactly, is not known, though it is known from a hadith, found in the two principal books of authentic narrations, Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. That they are of the nations of mankind, the Prophet said, Among you are two nations that never approach anything but they overwhelm it with their large numbers, the Yajuj and Majuj. Of them, the Quran says. When he reached a valley between two mountains, he found a people who could barely understand a word. They said, O Tul Karnain. Verily, Gog and Magog are doing great mischief in the land. Will you accept a tribute from us so that you build a barrier between us and them? Quran 18,93-94 and he traveled until he reached a gap between two mountains, and he found before them a people who could barely understand the speech of others. They said, O Dhul Karnain, Gog and Magog, meaning two great nations from the children of Adam, are causing corruption on earth by killing and so forth. So can we give you some wealth so you can make a barrier between us and them? Alkaf, 93-94 After Tul Karnain carried out their request, without exacting tribute, he told them. This is a mercy for my lord, but when the promise of my lord comes, he shall level it to the ground and the promise of my Lord is ever true. And on that day, we shall leave some of them to surge like waves on one another. Quran 18 98-99 Dhui Karnain said, The kingdom and strength my Lord has given me is better than any wealth you can give me, so support me with men and tools. I shall make a barrier between you and them. Bring pieces of iron. 
they brought them to him, so he began building with them between the two mountains, until when he had made them level with his building, he said to the workers. Light these pieces, until when the iron pieces turned red, he said, bring copper to pour on top of it. So Gog and Magog were unable to climb over it due to its height nor were they able to make a hole in it from beneath due to its hardness. Dhu Icarnane said, this barrier is a mercy for my lord. It will come between Gog and Magog and causing corruption on earth, and it will stop them from it. Then when the time which Allah has appointed for their release comes before the final hour, he will level it to the ground. And the promise of Allah to level it to the ground and to release Gog and Magog is established and will not be broken. And I shall leave Gog and Magog to crowd and mix with one another on the day the barrier breaks, due to their large numbers. And the trumpet will be blown a second time, then I shall bring them all back to life. I shall gather their bones and meat which had scattered, then I shall bring them to the gathering place. Alkaf, 95-99 this means that they will be a people who are not under the jurisdiction of Jesus when he accepts the pledge from former Jews and Christians. And it is the Gog and Magog who will be the final threat to the believers before his reign of peace. Again, the Quran says. When the Gog and Magog swoop down from every ridge, and the true promise draws near, you will see the disbelievers, their eyes staring fixedly, in horror, they will say, Woe to us! Indeed we're heedless of this, and we were wrongdoers. Quran 21,96-97 they will never return, even until the barrier of Gog and Magog is opened and they begin emerging, hurriedly descending from every high piece of land. Their emergence, terror and violence will be a sign of the rising drawing nearer. The disbelievers will be left wide-eyed in horror, saying, Oh my, what a destruction faces us! We were indulged in futility in the world, preoccupied from preparing for this severe day. Rather, we were wrongdoers by disbelieving and committing sins. al 96-97 not even Jesus will be able to withstand the coming of the Gog and Magog, for they will swarm the land destructively, like locusts. Abu Sa'id al-Qudri reported that the Prophet said that only the Muslims who retreat into their cities and strongholds with their cattle and sheep will survive the onslaught, in Musnad Ahmad, it is. So said. God will reveal to Jesus, Son of Mary, I have brought forth people from among my creatures against whom none will be able to fight. Take my worshippers safely to Mount Tur. Sahih Muslim. The Gog and Magog will be so many that when the last of the horde passes through a lake bed from whose water the first rank had drunk, they will bewail, there used to be water here. Once. Anybody not from themselves, except for the Muslims in their strongholds and refuges, will be killed, and the horde will declaim, we have defeated the people of earth. Now only the people of heaven are left, for us to defeat, dot. On that, one will fire an arrow into the sky, and it will fall back to earth blood-stained, Musnad Ahmad. Though the Gog and Magog will think they have obtained victory, their very boast would be their downfall, for the blood on their weapons will be nothing but a test from God. The next article will deal with how the Gog and Magog will be defeated, and what happens after that.